Your sponsor presents the New York Yankees. Game of the week. This week, direct from Yankee Stadium in New York, the Yankees versus Washington Senators. Hi, this is Ed Ferguson, and here we are at the Yankee Stadium to watch the New York Yankees and the Washington Senators. In a moment, the action-packed game, but first, here's something worth looking into. And now we're just about ready to go with the Yankees game of the week. It's a bright afternoon here at the home of the champions, and this is the fourth game of a four-game series, with the Yankees having taken two of the three played. The defending world champions have now won 102 games and are driving to close the gap with the Cleveland Indians, who, by the way, are playing at Chicago today. Here are the lineups for both teams. For the Yankees, and batting in this order, Bauer in right field, McDougal at second, Mantle in center field, Barra catching, Scourin at first base, Serve in left field, Carey at third base, Coleman shortstop, and Burns pitching. For Washington, Olis at third base, Runnels second, Vernon at first base, Busby in center field, Seavers left field, Lemon right field, Fitzgerald catching, Snyder shortstop, and McDermott pitching. The veteran left-hander, Tommy Byrne, back from Seattle in the Pacific Coast League, where he pitched good enough to win 20 games. Stengel, you know, wants to win this game badly. He's after his sixth championship. The opening pitch of the game by Tommy Byrne to the Senators leadoff batter Bob Oldis is a curveball. High outside, ball one. Byrne works the count on Oldis to three and two. Here's the pitch. Oldis flies to left. Bob serve takes it for the first out of the game. Pete Runnels up next. He belts Burns' first pitch into left for a single, and Washington has its first base runner. Mickey Vernon, defending American League batting champion, is up there now. Mickey, one of the finest glovemen in the league, is tough for anybody, left-handers or right-handers. Mickey takes a strike. That's Hank Sorg calling the balls and strikes. Vernon, fooled by a curve ball, pops it up. Bill Scowlin at first today for the Yankees is under it. He has it. Runnels holds it first. Jim Busby, one of the fastest center fielders in baseball, comes up. Busby bats and fields right-handed. Now there's two out, and Pete Runnels on first. Byrne gets ahead of Busby. There's Roy uh, Seavers in the on-deck circle waiting to cut. Tommy Byrne looks to first. Now he delivers. Busby grounds one through the hole into left. Jerry Coleman almost made a fine play. Runnels holds it second as serve, rifles the ball into third, and Busby holds first. Now there are two out and two on, and big Roy Seavers, the Washington left fielder, is up there. Seavers today has 24 home runs and is a big threat any time he's up there with a wood in his hand. That's Andy Carey, young Yankee third baseman. Seavers lifts a high fly to center. Mantle has plenty of time to get under it. Andy takes it for the out. That retires the Senators in the top of the first. No runs, two hits, no errors, and two left. Mari McDermott, one of the best left-handers in the league, is pitching for Washington. The young pitcher was acquired this year by Washington when he was dealt to them by Boston for Jackie Jensen. Hank Bauer is batting while Gil McDougal swinging some wood is on deck. Bauer ties into one. It's going about 400 feet away. But Seavers, with time to get under it, takes it for out number one in the bottom half of the first. Gil McDougal, who plays third and second base with equal facilities, stands in to face McDermott. McDougal, because of an injury to his foot, has been in and out of the lineup all year. Watch this boy with the unorthodox batting stance. Gill hits high down the right field line. Jim Lemon comes over. He's got it for the second out. Mickey Mantle, center fielder for the Yankees, fouls a pitch back to the screen. Yogi Berra on deck, yells to Mantle to get hold of one. Mickey in a slump has had his average fall away to 298. Mantle drives one sharply down third and through on into left field for a base hit. Seavers throws quickly into Snyder at short, and the Yankees have their first base run of the game with Yogi Berra coming up. Berra batting at 310 is leading the league with 124 RBIs. Yogi takes a strike, and he doesn't like it. Won't do you any good to argue, Yogi. 
McDermott pitches, and Yogi hits one into the hole between first and second, out into right field. Jim Lemon comes in and fields it quickly, holding Mantle at second. Two on and two out as Big Bill Scourin, former Purdue fullback, and now one of the fine crop of Yankee youngsters comes up. Big Moose is batting a very handy 322. McDermott looks back at Mantle at second and fires a strike past Scourin. Scourin hits one down to short and through on into left. Mantle scores easily as Seavers throw holes Yogi at second. Scour is on at first with a run producing single and the Yankees take the lead here in the bottom of the first one to nothing. Bob serves starting in left field today is the next batter. Big Bob is one of the strongest men in baseball. McDermott will have to bear down to get out of this inning. Serve hits one back through the box. Runnels fields it and steps on second for the force on Scourin. The third out, but the Yankees have scored one run on three hits, no Senator errors, and two Yankees left. In the Senator second, Jim Lemon, the big right fielder, leads off. He works Tommy Byrne for a walk on four straight pitches. With Lemon on first, Ed Fitzgerald, Washington catcher, coming up. Fitz swings at Burns' first pitch and sends it deep to right. Bauer goes back deep, almost to the barrier. He's got it. Lemon goes back to first. In there now is Jerry Snyder playing shortstop with the Senators and former Yankee property. The count on Snyder goes to one and one. Down to Coleman. Over to McDougal. Back to Scourin for the double play. No runs, no hits, no Yankee errors, and no one left on. The score at the end of one and a half innings, Yankees won, Washington nothing. In the bottom of the second, the Yankees will lead off with third baseman Andy Carey. Andy, just under the 300 mark, has had good luck against McDermott all year. And Carey continues to hit well against McDermott, sending that ball on a line into right field. The throw comes in the second, and Carey holds it first with the Yankees' fourth hit. Jerry Coleman, who recently finished his second hitch in the Marine Air Corps, comes up to the plate. Coleman's having trouble with his hitting of late. There's a move to first. McDermott has a good motion to first, you know. He learned it from one of the old masters, Mel Parnell of the Boston Red Sox. The ball is slapped down to Terwilliger, over to Runnels. Carey slide broke up that attempt at the double play nicely. Coleman is on first. Here's Tommy Byrne coming up. McDermott ready to pitch now to Byrne. He grounds to short, and Snyder is down. Shortstop Jerry Snyder is on the ground. Umpire Bill Grieve and third baseman to Williger go over. And now here comes manager Bucky Harris and Washington trainer George Lentz. There's Yankee coach Bill Dickey and trainer Gus March coming over. That ball was just a routine grounder that took a bad hop and hit Snyder in the forehead. That baseball really travels, you know. Now trainer Lentz helps Snyder to his feet. He's still a little groggy, but he'll be all right, just a bump. Wayne Terwilliger will move over to short, and Roy Dietzel, a young rookie, will take over at third. That scored as a base hit for Tommy Byrne with Carey moving to second. The score is one to nothing with the Yankees in front and threatening to get more. Hank Bauer will be the batter. The count on Bauer goes to two balls and one strike. <laughs> Hit back to the mound. McDermott's only play is to first. Byrne goes to second and Jerry Coleman moves to third. Now with two out, here's Gil McDougal coming up to see what he can do about driving in a few more runs. Dougal fouls it back. That's Jerry Coleman coming down the line. Hit down to Terwilliger. Over to Vernon for the third out. 
for the Yankees in the bottom of the second. No runs, two hits, no errors, and two left on. Tommy Byrne working on his pitching opponent, Mari McDermott, also a good hitting pitcher. That's Gil McDougal at second base for the Yanks. <laughs> McDougal to Scourin. One out for the Senators in the top of the third. There's Dan Topping and general manager George Weiss in the official box. Wayne Terwilliger now playing shortstop after Snyder went out comes up. <laughs> A pop up. Scourin is under it. He has it for the second out. Pete Reynolds up for Washington with two out in the top of the third. Foul strike one. Mickey Vernon on deck. <laughs> Serve will have to hurry. And he makes the catch. A pretty play by Bob Serve down around his shoe tops for the third out. For the Senators, no runs, no hits, no Yankee errors, and no one left on. At the end of two and a half innings, the score is New York Yankees one, and the Washington Senators nothing. In the Yankee third, it'll be Mantle, Barra, and Scourin in that order. And if anyone gets on, Bob serves. Mantle has developed the ability of late to wait for his pitch. With his power and speed, he's a big threat up there and leads the Yankees in walks. He's single to left his first time up. And Mantle leads off the third inning with a walk. That's first base coach Bill Dickey. Yogi Bear is the batter. Yogi single to right last time up. He's been yakking at plate umpire sore all afternoon. A little sore at sore, so to speak. Down, boy. And Yogi strikes out. Now he claimed he foul tipped it, but umpire Saw, of course, will have the last word. They always do. Yogi is looking for a little help now. This is only the 29th time that Berra has struck out this year. He leads the Yankees in that department with the least strikeouts on the club. Two out, one on, Mantle on first, and Moose Scourin, Yankee first baseman, is up there. Down to Vernon, unassisted. Mantle moves to second. Here's Bob serve. Bob makes his home in Gunnison, Colorado. Count one and two, serve pops it up, and Vernon takes it for the third out. That's all for New York in the third. At the end of three innings, it's Yankees one on five hits, no Washington errors. The Yankees have stranded five. The Senators have no runs, they've had two hits, no Yankee errors, and they've left two. In the top of the fourth, Mickey Vernon and Jim Busby go down one, two, and that brings up left fielder Roy Sievers with two out. Bob Serve can't seem to find the handle. Seavers steams into second, a single and an error for serve, enabling Seavers to go on to second. Jim Lemon, the batter, he's former Cleveland Indian property. <laughs> a grounder to Carey, who tosses a scouring, and the side is retired. In the fourth for Washington, no runs, one hit, one Yankee error, and one left. The score, Yankees one, Senators nothing. Andy Carey, look out, Andy! One for one so far, had a single to right in the second. Carey draws a walk. That's the second walk given up by McDermott. And up comes Jerry Coleman. Andy Carey on first with none out. <laughs> Coleman fouls it off. McDermott gives some hitters a lot of trouble. 
He has an involved motion and very fast. The ball comes at the batter off McDermott's right instep, and it's tough to follow. That's one reason why he's always up around the leaders in strikeouts. A fly ball. Jim Lemon under it. And he's got it. Gary gets back to first. That's third base umpire Jim Honachick. McDermott pitches to Byrne with a count one and two. Tommy swings and misses for strike three. He went after a bad pitch and he's mad at himself. Tommy's one pitcher who loves to hit. Hank Bauer up now with two away and Andy Carey still on first. Bauer is 0 for 2 and the former Marine is standing in with an average just below the 300 mark. It's a pop up to Vernon at first and the Yankees are down on the fourth with no runs, no hits, no Washington errors and one Yankee left. Ed Fitzgerald, Senator Catcher, leads off the Washington fifth. Fitz doesn't hit much for average, but he'll give the ball a good ride now and then. Fitzgerald makes his home in Sacramento, California. Call strike three. Tommy Byrne is very sharp today. Roy Dietzel flies to Bauer in right field, and lefty Mari McDermott is the batter for Washington with two out here in the top of the fifth. Back to Tommy Byrne, who throws to Bill Scour on ending the inning. At the end of four and a half, it's the Yankees one and the Senators nothing. Gil McDougal leads off here in the bottom half of the fifth. Gil is hitless today, having flied out and grounded to short his previous time's up. Gil hits a hopper down to Reynolds. Over to Mickey Brennan at first for out number one. Next batter, Mickey Mantle, belts a double off the left field barrier. One out, one on, Mantle leading off second. Yogi Berra comes up. He has one hit and two previous at-bats. He's been voted the all-star catcher for the last six years. Yogi is called by Casey Stangle as bread and butter man. With a count on Yogi, three balls and one strike, McDermott walks him. And now with only one out, the Yankees are threatening. Mantle's on second as a result of a double. Barra's on first with McDermott's third walk of the game. Moose Gowan up for the Yankees here in the fifth. The Yankees lead one to nothing, and McDermott is in trouble. Gowan hits a ground ball down to Williger. Over to Reynolds. Back to Vernon. It's a double play and McDermott is out of the inning. For the Yankees, no runs, one hit, no Washington errors, and two Yankees left. The score at the end of five complete innings, Yankees won, Senators nothing. Here's Wayne Terwilliger, Washington shortstop. The twig came to Washington late in 52, having been with Chicago and Brooklyn in the National League. It's a base hit in the left. Terwilliger's on first with a single. Hit number four for Washington. Pete Reynolds up for the third time. He singles a left in the first. The Yankee infield is playing in for the sacrifice. But it drops in for a base hit. Terwilliger is on second, and now the Senators are threatening with two on and none out. Tommy Byrne is in trouble. Mickey Vernon is the batter. He hasn't hit today, and he is overdue. Casey watching Byrne carefully. He might be tiring. One out. Two out. A triple play. It's a triple play. The first triple play ever made at the Yankee Stadium. For the Senators in the top of the sixth, no runs, two hits, no Yankee errors, and no Senators left on. And now through the magic of our Game of the Week camera, let's take another look at that play. Men on first and second, none out, and Byrne pitching to Vernon. Vernon swings. Scourin goes up, making a beautiful catch for out number one. He runs over and touches first, doubling up Reynolds for out number two. Terwilliger is just starting back to second. Scourin throws down to Coleman at second, just nipping Terwilliger for the third out, completing the triple play. And with two on and none out, the Yankees come out of the inning unscored upon. What a day. Bob Serve is first up from New York in the bottom of the sixth inning. Bob is 0 for 2 today. He batted 317 and had 22 home runs for Kansas City last year. Ground ball down to Terwilliger. Throws over to Vernon. The twig almost lost it, but came up with it in time for the putout. And he carries up now with one out and none on. Carey lined a single to right in the second and walked in the fourth. With the count three and one, McDermott loses him, and Carey trots down to first with his second walk of the day. Hank Bauer is on deck. Jerry Coleman, Yankee batter. Jerry is 0 for 2.
Jerry pops it back. Fitzgerald after the ball. He makes a nice catch. It was a twisting type of foul and could have been troublesome. Fitz made a nice play there. Two out and Tommy Byrne up for the third time has had a single and two trips. McDermott fields it and throws Byrne out at first. Side retired. Now here's something worth looking into. Busby leads off in the seventh for the Senators in what has turned out to be a real pitching duel. Byrne gets Busby to fly to center where Mantle takes it for out number one. The next man, Roy Seavers, works Byrne for a walk. Jim Lemon comes up for Washington with one on and one out. It's fouled up and back. Yogi's chasing it. He almost slips, and he's got it for out number two. Seavers holds first. Yogi made that one look a little tough, but he came up with it. He usually does. Ed Fitzgerald, the batter here in the seventh. Fitz flied deep to Bauer in the second and struck out last time up. Fitzgerald lines to McDougal for the third out. For Washington in the seventh, no runs, no hits, no Yankee errors, and one senator left. The score at the end of six and a half is Yankees one and Washington nothing. And up here today, we're amazed at the excellent control that Tommy Byrne has displayed for seven innings. He's been around that plate someplace with just about every pitch, quite a contrast to the Byrne we've seen in the past. Bauer, the first man up, draws a walk. Gil McDougal comes up with one on and none out. Gill is hitless today, grounded out twice and flied to Lemon and right. McDougal hits a looper. It drops in for a single. Bauer running on the pitch goes all the way to third and that brings up Mantle. Men on first and third, Mantle up. And Yogi Berra, Yankees leading run producer on deck. McDermott gets ahead of Mantle. The count is no balls and two strikes. A hard ground ball down to Dietzel, over to Runnels. The throw to Vernon is not in time to get the flying Mantle, and Bauer scores. McDougal is forced at second, and the Yankees lead two to nothing. That was Mantle's 102nd RBI. Yogi bears the batter with one on and one out. One run in, the count on Yogi is one and one. And he belts one in the right field. Mantle showing his blazing speed, slides neatly into third, and the Yankees have a rally going. Big Moose Scourin with one for three comes up. This is Bill's first year at first base, but he's handled that triple play like a veteran. It's a bounding ball to Terwilliger. Over to Runnels for the force on Berra. Back to first, not in time to get Scourin. And Mickey Mantle scores with the second run of the inning and the Yankees third of the game. They now lead three to nothing. Moose Gowan on first, two out, two in, and Bob Serve coming up to hit. He hits down to Runnels. Pete steps on second, forcing Scowan for the third out, but not before the Yankees have scored two runs on two hits. At the end of six and a half innings, it's Yankees three and Washington nothing. Roy Dietzel starts the eighth inning for Washington with a walk. Dietzel is a rookie in his eighth major league game. He's very fast. And now we're getting a pinch hitter for Mari McDermott. McDermott pitched a tough game. He gave up three runs and eight hits and walked five. It's Carlos Paula taking a strike. Paula's a tall, rangy outfielder. He makes his home in Havana, Cuba. And Paula strikes out. It's the second strikeout for Byrne. Wayne to Williger. Up. He had a single in the sixth. Sandy Carey charging the ball. Throws over to first in time to get to Williger. Dietzel moves to second. The next batter, Runnels, draws a walk. With two on and two out, Mickey Vernon, representing the tying run, moves up to the plate. With the ground ball down to McDougal, who fires to Scowron for the third out. No runs, no hits, no Yankee errors, and two Senators left. The score here in the middle of the eighth is New York three and Washington nothing. Emilio Pasqual, a Cuban right-hander with a record of three wins and six losses, making his 46th appearance of the year. He takes over now for Maury McDermott. He gets Andy Carey on a ground ball to third and Jerry Coleman on three strikes. 
count here on Byrne goes to one ball and two strikes. Tommy hits it back to Pasquale, to Vernon. No runs, no hits, no Senator errors. And at the end of eight complete innings, the score is New York three and Washington nothing. Jim Busby faces Tommy Byrne to start the ninth. Jim has a single and three trips. Joe Collins replaces Scowron at first. The count on Busby goes to two and one. Carey feels the ball and throws to Collins for the first out here in the top of the ninth. Roy Sievers hits one down the right field line in fair territory. Hank Bauer catches up with it. Two out. Jim Lemon stands in. Jim is 0 for 2. It's strike three swinging. Tommy Byron pitches himself a five-hit shutout as the Yankees win it 3 to nothing. Here are the totals of this Yankee game of the week. The Yankees beat the Senators 3 to nothing for the Yankees three runs on eight hits. One error, and they left nine men. For Washington, no runs on five hits, no miscues, and they stranded six. For Byrne, it's his third win against one loss, and for Maury McDermott, his 15th loss, and he's won seven. Incidentally, this Yankee win eliminated Washington hopes of finishing in the first division. Final score of today's game, three to nothing. Until next week, then, this is Ed Ferguson saying so long for now for the Yankee Game of the Week. <laughs>